And that's what is the beauty of today's workout. Real short and condensed and intense. Doesn't take a lot of time, but you get a lot of benefit. Hey guys, Mark McKilly with Live Anabolic, and guess what? I got three fantastic exercises for you guys to lose belly fat, especially as older guys, all right? So before I get into those three exercises, I'm going to explain that it's not just the exercises that are important to losing fat, it's the way that you do them, all right? And I'm gonna show you the way in just a minute, and I'm gonna explain you know, the pros and cons of this method, okay? But even if you do these three exercises and you do them the way I show you and you do everything perfectly, they're not gonna work. You're not gonna lose any belly fat if you also don't do this at the same time. And that is fill this thing with healthy, nutritious, whole foods and then close it, all right, after you eat your food. Don't keep coming in here and munching at midnight, okay? So your nutrition is critical, guys. I got a great workout for you, three great exercises, but if you don't pay attention to this, you're gonna waste all the time and effort that you put into the workouts in just a minute. Okay, so three great exercises. Before we get there, guys, Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. We have a fantastic free resource for you. Don't turn down free stuff. I am the administrator. I'm the guy in there answering everybody's questions. But there's also, we're pushing close to 20,000 members now around the world. So just create an account. Even if you're not a Facebook fan, I'm not. You don't even have to use your real name. You don't have to use any pictures. Just log on, join the group, and absorb all the great information. And it's not just workout stuff. You know, I'm in there talking about nutrition. Other guys are bringing up injuries. We're, taught, we're, we're trying to help each other out, you know. It really is, by far and away, the best fitness group on all of Facebook, and you won't regret it. All right, so three exercises. And I told you at the very beginning, it's not just the exercises, but how you do them that's important, okay? So we're gonna be doing these exercises in a circuit style but we're also gonna be doing them with a sprinter mentality. We're gonna be going really hard, all out. Matter of fact, we're gonna be going so hard that you're only gonna be able to do them for about 20 seconds, all right? And then you're just gonna be gassed. So this is the deal, and this is why I like this workout. I try to keep it simple. We're gonna use a stopwatch on our phone or a wristwatch, it doesn't matter. So we're gonna do the first 20 seconds of each minute really hard, all out. And then we're gonna rest 40 seconds, the last 40 seconds of the minute. And during that rest period, we're gonna basically be transitioning and getting ready to do the next exercise. So three exercises, we do exercise number one for 20 seconds, we rest for 40 seconds, then we do 20 seconds of exercise number two, we rest 40 seconds, and then we finish up the circuit with 20 seconds all out of the third and last exercise. All right, that's one circuit. All right, you rest 40 seconds, then you start it all over again. So you beginners out there, I want you doing three circuits like that. For the intermediate and advanced guys, you guys need to be doing four to five circuits. So what are the three exercises? Let me just kind of explain them. I'll demonstrate the form, and then I'm gonna do one circuit, all right, for you guys, just to kind of show you how it should look and feel. So the very first thing we're gonna do for 20 seconds is called high knees or sprinting in place. So guys, when I'm talking about high knees, this is a jog in place, okay? I'm just kind of cruising like a normal jog. Remember, this is a sprinter deal. This is a high intensity interval training type workout. So high knees is this. So I'm going pretty much as fast as I can, all right? And you only have to do it for 20 seconds, all right? That's why you have to go so hard because we're not doing this for a long period of time. All right, so that's the first exercise. We're basically sprinting in place. Second exercise is the, is the dreaded burpee. And for you guys that haven't done burpees, <laughs> you're not gonna like me. So a burpee is just basically this. You're standing up and you kind of hop down into a push-up position, right? You do a push-up and then you hop back, stand up and jump. You don't have to jump real high, just a little hop. 
All right, then you're back down, push up position. Boom. So down, hop back, push up, hop forward, stand up and jump at the same time. That's a burpee. <laughs> it may look easy on camera. <laughs> you do just a few of those and you'll know why people dread them. Okay, so the third and final exercise today in the circuit is something called a plank jack. So guys, a plank jack, basically you just get into your normal plank position, which is the same as a push-up position, right? There's really no difference. And plank jacks are the, this, you kind of hop out with your feet and you hop back in. So you just kind of, you're bouncing in and out. So you're doing it pretty quick, okay? You don't need to hop real high just high enough to get your feet out with a nice wide stance and then you hop just high enough to get your feet back together in that starting push-up position or that starting plank position okay so this is what i like to use as far as the timer is concerned because even though i have a watch on you know i'm bouncing around i can't look at it to see where i am i just use the stopwatch feature you know on my phone and I just hit start and I'm going to put it on the ground where I can always see it. Okay. And I'm going to be going all out on each exercise and I can see when it gets to the 20 second mark. That's my key to stop and rest. And then I just can, I can watch it until it gets to the top of the next whole minute. That's my key to start the next exercise and go all out for just 20 seconds, stop, rest for 40 seconds, move on to the next. So I think this is probably the easiest way to keep track of the time, but you guys can come up with whatever you want, okay? It's not that, it's not that complicated, but I gotta put it down on the ground over here off to the side. I'm gonna bend down, hit go, and then we're gonna go through one circuit just exactly like I want you guys to do it, okay? Here we go. All out, guys, 20 seconds. Whew. Now I'm out of breath, but I'm not gassed. Guess what? I will be after I do three circuits. Now I'm only gonna do one circuit with you guys. But the next exercise is a burpee. And I'm just kind of glancing at the clock over here. And I'm gonna start off on the ground with these burpees. And in 20 seconds, you're probably only gonna be able to do five or six burpees. Here we go. Catch your breath, guys. Just glancing over here. Plank jacks are the last exercise in this circuit. Here we go. <sighs> One circuit down. <laughs> Now for you beginners, rest for 40 seconds, and at the top of the next minute, 
you got to start all over with the sprinting in place, all right? So you guys do three circuits. Intermediate guys do four. And you more advanced guys, five circuits. Okay, so you just saw me do one circuit. And I did it with a sprinter mentality, right? Even though I'm resting for the majority of the minute, you need that long because you're going so hard for the first 20 seconds of each minute. All right, and the reason I designed the program this way for today's workout is because it creates something called the epoch effect. So the way we did this, remember at the beginning of the video, I said, it's the way that you do these three exercises that's so critical. Well, doing them this way is a hit style workout, high intensity interval training. And when you do it that way, you create something called the epoch all right, effect. And EPOC stands for excess post-exercise oxygen consumption. All right, so obviously, while we're doing these circuits, we're gassed. We're using a lot of oxygen, right? Well, even after your third and final circuit, for you beginners, all right, you will be so tired and out of breath, and your heart rate will have gotten so high, and you will have triggered so much lactic acid in your body that even after you calm back down and you get back to your resting metabolic rate, that rate will remain higher than normal for several hours after the workout's over, which means during those extra hours, you're gonna be burning more calories at rest than you normally would be burning at rest, all right? And that's kind of the beauty of these HIT style workouts, all right? so. That is different from doing steady state cardio, all right? And steady state cardio, you never get to the intensity level that raises your metabolic rate after the workout's over. Yes, while you're jogging and cruising around slow speed, you're burning more calories than normal. But as soon as you stop, your body calms back down and you go back to burning that normal metabolic rate amount of calories. Not so when you do it hit style. And that's what is the beauty of today's workout. Real short and condensed and intense. Doesn't take a lot of time, but you get a lot of benefit. All right? So guys, before I close off, please do us a favor. Help us spread the good word about this YouTube channel. Share it with your buddies. Hit that little like button below the video. And then subscribe to the channel, okay? I want to grow this channel to over a million subscribers. We're, we're at about 600,000 right now. I want to hit that 1 million mark, and you are the guys that can help us do it. But all that said and done, you guys have to remember to always stick with it and never give up on yourself.